Want to own a slice of a unique real estate business with incredible scalability? Like the idea of getting a market beating yield backed by massive dividend growth? Looking for a great deal on a great stock after it's dropped by 30% in price? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before we get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a special news announcement. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is providing unique tower real estate to various service providers. Those towers and antennas you sometimes see, the ones with communications equipment attached to them, these things are money machines. Once a tower goes up, the scalability is out of this world. And because all kinds of devices are using more mobile data than ever before, these towers are more important than ever before. That bodes well for this company's ability to continue increasing its revenue, profit, and dividend. I personally invest in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieve financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. Getting back to the stock I'll tell you about today though, perhaps best of all, it looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I wanna share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of American Tower Corp, which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. American Tower Corp, stock ticker AMT, is a real estate investment trust that owns, operates, and develops broadcast communications infrastructure across the world. Founded in 1995, American Tower is now a $91 billion by market cap infrastructure giant that employs over 6,000 people. The company's property portfolio includes approximately 223,000 communications sites with more than 43,000 in the U.S. and roughly 180,000 internationally. American Tower's basic business model involves the rental and management of vertical antenna sites to service providers. Service providers sign multi-year leases in order to access towers and install their equipment. This equipment is necessary to carry out services such as telephony, mobile data, radio, and broadcast television. In addition, after the acquisition of CoreSight Realty Corporation in late 2021, American Tower owns and operates interconnected data center facilities. American Tower expects this acquisition to enhance the value of its existing tower real estate through emerging edge computing opportunities. Regardless of exactly how that plays out, 5G and IoT are converging to make American Tower's infrastructure more critical than ever before. For example, an average smartphone user might consume somewhere around 10 gigabytes per month in mobile data. On the other hand, a self-driving car is thought to use somewhere around four terabytes of data per day. We're talking about exponential increases in mobile data usage that can be measured in orders of magnitude. Moreover, American Tower has a unique advantage built right into the business model. It comes down to the way in which its real estate can be easily leveraged. Once a tower is built, there is a lot of available scalability in terms of bringing on additional tenants. Each tower is a bit of a compounding money machine for American Tower. Adding tenants, equipment, and upgrades results in much higher returns per tower as revenue is added with minimal incremental cost. When you have thousands of compounding money machines, it's not hard to imagine how the entire enterprise has become a compounding money machine itself. That's what bodes so well for American Tower to continue increasing its revenue, profit, and dividend for many years to come. To date, the REIT has increased its dividend for 13 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 
percent is uncharacteristically high for a REIT, although more recent dividend growth has been in the 13% range. Still, that's an exceptionally high dividend growth rate for what is typically an income vehicle. On the other hand, the stock's 3.2% yield isn't terribly impressive for a REIT, but it is 130 basis points higher than its own five-year average. That's a noteworthy spread. What I think is happening here is the market is adjusting the yield higher to account for the slowing dividend growth rate. The business has become very large and mature, making that 20% plus dividend growth rate almost certainly a thing of the past. However, a new reality of a 3% plus yield and a 10% plus dividend growth rate would be a very nice one. And with the payout ratio sitting at 64.9% based on midpoint guidance for fiscal year 2023 adjusted funds from operations per share, the dividend is healthy and positioned for business-like growth from here. I like dividend growth stocks in what I refer to as the sweet spot, a yield of between 2.5% and 3.5% paired with high single digit or better dividend growth. Both the yield and dividend growth here are very, very sweet. Looking at business growth, American Tower pushed its revenue from $3.4 billion in fiscal year 2013 to $10.7 billion in fiscal year 2022. That's a compound annual growth rate of 13.6%. Extremely strong top line growth. However, when it comes to REITs, you really have to look at profit growth on a per share basis. That's because REITs use debt and equity to fund growth as they're legally required to distribute at least 90% of their taxable earnings to shareholders. This circles back around to why I early referred to this REIT as an income vehicle. Now, when assessing profit for a REIT, it's imperative to look at funds from operations instead of normal earnings. Funds from operations or adjusted funds from operations is a measure of cash generated by a REIT, which adds depreciation and amortization expenses back to earnings. American Towers adjusted funds from operations per share grew from $3.68 to $10.12 over this period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 11.9%. We can clearly see a business that has been growing at a double digit clip for a long time. Impressive stuff. Looking forward, CFRA currently has no projection for American Towers funds from operations per share growth over the next three years. This is unfortunate as I do like to compare the proven past up against a future forecast and see how things line up. However, this passage from CFRE highlights their optimism, and I quote, American Tower will likely benefit, in our view, from higher demand from U.S. wireless carriers as growth in mobile data traffic remains robust and as new spectrum deployments take place throughout the year, unquote. CFRE adds this, again, and I quote, International markets pose the greatest opportunity for American Tower moving forward by our analysis. 4G penetration remains moderate in many international markets, such as Latin America, currently about 50%, and Africa, around 15%. American Tower will continue investing heavily in these regions through both tower acquisitions and new builds to address the upcoming wave of demand, unquote. I see good reason to be optimistic. On the other hand, the deceleration in growth is noticeable. The $10.12 in adjusted funds from operations per share for fiscal year 2022 was only 4.9% higher than the $9.65 produced for fiscal year 2021. And American Tower is guiding for $9.61 at the midpoint in adjusted funds from operations per share for fiscal year 2023. It's still a fantastic business centered around necessary infrastructure, but it's starting to become a victim of its own success in my view. Its size may be starting to work against it. And so some of the downward adjustment in price by the market seems justified. This action has caused caused the yield to rise in order to compensate investors for the lower growth. I think it's reasonable to expect a high single digit growth rate in adjusted funds from operations per share and the dividend for the foreseeable future. That wouldn't be the kind of growth that shareholders have enjoyed in the past, but it would still be great. It should be pointed out that those buying in now are getting a much higher starting yield than shareholders that were buying in the past. If you lean a bit more toward yield than growth, American Tower may actually be more interesting now than it's ever been before. Moving over to the balance sheet, American Tower has a good financial position. The REIT has $67.2 billion in total assets against $54.8 billion in total liabilities. American Tower's credit ratings are are in investment grade territory, triple B minus S&P, triple B plus Fitch, BAA3 Moody's. While the company may not be growing as fast as it once was, there's still a lot to like about American Tower. And with economies of scale, switching costs, and entrenched infrastructure, the company does benefit from durable competitive advantages. Of course, there are risks to consider. Litigation, regulation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. A REIT's capital structure relies on external funding for growth, which exposes the company to volatile capital markets via equity and interest rates via debt. Speaking of interest, 
interest rates, higher rates can hurt the company twice over. Debt becomes more expensive to take on and service, and equity can become more expensive because income-sensitive investors have alternatives, which pressures the stock. The international footprint exposes comes with more growth opportunities, but it also exposes the company to currency exchange fluctuations and geopolitics. Customer concentration is a risk as three major telecommunications companies account for over half of the company's revenue. The company's scale is an advantage, but it also introduces questions around growth and the law of large numbers. LEO satellites present a technological risk as the possible viability of LEO satellites as an antenna alternative in the future could make towers obsolete. I see these risks as manageable, and with the stock down 30% from its 52-week high, the attractive valuation seems to be more than pricing these risks in. The forward price to adjusted funds from operations ratio is 20.3. That's based on midpoint guidance for this year's adjusted funds from operations per share. This stock has typically commanded a much higher cash flow multiple than that in the past, commonly over 25. Consider the current price to sales ratio of 8.4, which is much lower than its own five-year average of 12. I do think some multiple compression is justified here, but as noted earlier, as a result of this compression, the yield is significantly higher than its own recent historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 7%. Now, this kind of growth rate can look aggressive or conservative depending on which way you look at it. Compared to the demonstrated dividend growth over the last decade, it's super conservative. In comparison to more recent bottom line growth, it might look a tad aggressive. If I were doing this analysis five years ago, this kind of dividend growth rate expectation would almost be an insult to American Tower, but it's a new reality. That reality is not at all a bad one, it's just one in which the business grows slower than it used to, which is part of the life cycle for just about every business on the planet. Overall, I see this as a reasonable expectation for American Tower on a go-forward basis. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $222.56. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates AMT as a three-star stock with a fair value estimate of $220. CFR rates AMT as a four-star buy with a 12-month target price of $230. Pretty tight consensus this time around, which gives me even more confidence in my analysis. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $224.19, which would indicate the stock is possibly 15% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. American Tower Corp is a great way to play real estate, infrastructure, and humanity's increasing thirst for mobile data. With a market beating yield, a double-digit long-term dividend growth rate, a healthy payout ratio, more than 10 consecutive years of dividend increases, and the potential that shares are 15% undervalued, this looks like a compelling long-term investment idea for dividend growth investors. And now for a special news announcement. Altria Group Inc., stock ticker MO, is reportedly in advanced talks to acquire Enjoy Holdings Inc an e-cigarette company for nearly $3 billion. Is this the right play? Hard to say, but what we do know is Altria's traditional products are in secular decline, and management knows that. They've got to broaden out the portfolio. Management has had some missteps in the past on this front. Either way, it's a small move for Altria, which is a company with a market cap of $82 billion. Meanwhile, the stock is cheap, and it offers an 8.2% yield. It's worth a good look here, with or without Enjoy, because that yield is mighty enjoyable. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links including linked to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.